it's uh, incumbent on all companies really to prepare for uh, all, all sorts of disasters, whether it's natural disaster, man-made disaster, terrorism, um, even financial disaster. And the role of risk management is really to see how much and what portion of that um, kind of risk can be transferred to another entity, namely insurance companies. I guess I'd give maybe four bits of advice for risk managers. Uh, number one, um, now is the time to bolster coverage in the, for contingent business interruption. Um, that's in, contingent bis, business interruption is coverage for things not just for your own property. Normally businesses insure for their own property and the loss of business resulting from that. Contingent business interruption is uh, coverage for somebody else's operations and that, that really are vital to your own operations. For example, uh, a hotel operating right near Disney World in Orlando um, is dependent on Disney World being open in order to attract business. So contingent business interruption coverage would cover that hotel for losses to Disney World that attracts business to the hotel. Number two, um, it's very important to tailor coverage to the particular business. Um, you know, insurance is a Byzantine uh, world where Many of the terms and conditions come from, you know, the operations of the Venetian ship owners in the 1500s in the time of Marco Polo, uh, the times of ship owners in England in the 1700s. And the terms are standard and old and archaic, and they have to be tailored to a modern business. So an airline can't operate with insurance coverage that applies to shipping the, you know, with terms from the 1500s. Um, Sadly, though, it, it seems that many policies are, are still using ancient terminology and include a lot of things that just don't apply to, to modern business. A third thing is um, clarifying deductibles. Uh, for example, um, in a case we're working on involving an earthquake in Chile that shut down businesses in Chile, um, as is common in many of these cases, there's a big debate over what the deductible is. Is it is a 5% deductible, but is it 5% of the uh, damage that's been incurred, or is it 5% of the total value of the property? Uh, these are things that are just, believe it or not, never properly clarified in, in policy. So clarify the deductibles. And then lastly, uh, if a disaster hits, document the, the loss fully. Uh, make sure that you're immediately giving notice to the insurer. But last thing is, um, if there is a major disaster that has you know, large economic impacts, it's really, that is the time to buy more insurance before the market tightens up and prices go up for the, uh, for the next year. So those are basically the four things we advise.